Fellow Sierra Leoneans, this na Dr. Sylvia Olainka Blyden. And today, Wednesday, April 19, 2023. Today, na a special broadcast. We not get a number, like a how I can get number to me ongoing series of broadcasts. This na a special broadcast today for commemorate and bring alive the history of 52 years ago where this country became a republic. When I put out the message today, say, I can't talk about Sierra Leone becoming a republic 52 years ago, in 1971, April 19th. So many people send me message, either on my Facebook wall, on my email, on my inbox. Then they correct me. Well, then things say, then they correct me. They say, oh, you don't make mistake, you don't make mistake. Not for 52 years. Now 62 years. Because now 1961. Not to 1971. And you know, the large number of people them were so ignorant of what happened in 1971. It did justify why make God move me for do this broadcast today. Because what happened in 1961, now everybody know. But what it happened 10 years later, in 1971, not to the credit of the All People's Congress and the then leader of the All People's Congress, Dr. Shaka Probin Stevens. And of course, not a credit again to my own grandfather, my mama and papa, the late Honorable S.A.J. Pratt. But you see, one of the problems them way the APC get is that even where God bless will party for come and run the government for 11 years, almost 11 years, we're not able to talk to this nation and highlight the positive legacies them who party bring come for this country. For reasons where people then they slowly now see that women get selfish people then we not want the party in glorious history, in glorious legacy, the solid foundation on which the APC was formed. Wherefore, make everybody in the APC proud of the APC. They don't want that. They mean just want the APC for be seen as everything before Anes by Koroma, not good. Now only Anes by Koroma, not good. So we lost the chance for tell people them what the APC do in this country. In 1971. And the circumstances will lead to Sierra Leone becoming a republic in 1971. You see, me people them, Sierra Leone was a British colony for many, many years. But in 1961, the British give Sierra Leone independence 
for run the government of Sierra Leone. But the state of Sierra Leone was still under the British royal family. I repeat, when I listen carefully, in 1961, the SLPP Sir Milton Bagai then secure independence for Sierra Leone so that the government would be run by a prime minister who is a Sierra Leonean and his cabinet ministers who are Sierra Leoneans. But the head of state and the state itself was still under Her Majesty, the Queen of England, as the head of state of Sierra Leone. So the state of Sierra Leone, even our diplomats that were sent to represent Sierra Leone, they were sent by Her Majesty, the Queen of England, and not by Sierra Leoneans. Everything about the state was under Her Majesty the Queen. So the independence were then said in Giwi for run with government internally, the inside the government internally. We were still under Her Majesty the Queen and Her Majesty the Queen, they appoint somebody for represent them within the call the Governor General. So that 1961 independence, where the SLPP fend for this country, Samuel Timbagai, that independence in 1961, not to mean better independence, because we were still not fully independent to run the state of Sierra Leone. The head of state of Sierra Leone was still Her Majesty the Queen of England. I repeat, even though the SLPP and Samuel Timagai in 1961 then get independence for run the government internal affairs in Sierra Leone, but the state of Sierra Leone was still under the control of the British royal family. And the head of state of Sierra Leone was still Her Majesty the Queen of England, Elizabeth II. So from 1961 to 1971, a period of 10 years, that half and half independence we may get to. <laughs> the independence that may have enough, we may still get Governor General. When are the queen they appoint her? Huh? And what did the queen say? We come out with laws, with constitution, nef koto. That's when they happen. So what did can happen now? How Shaka Stevens and the APC they able for make Sierra Leone become a fully independent state? With Sierra Leoneans now running Sierra Leone, with Sierra Leoneans now being head of state in Sierra Leone, and with Sierra Leoneans now sending diplomats to other countries in the name of a Sierra Leonean head of state. This only happened in 1971. And today mark the 52nd anniversary of that glorious day when the late former leader of the APC, Shaka Probin Stevens, at 1.13 p.m. in the afternoon, 13 minutes after 1, passed through the House of Parliament. The royal assent that the Queen of England had given 
for Sierra Leone to finally become an independent republic. So it was only 52 years ago that Queen Elizabeth allowed Sierra Leone to become a republic. It was only 52 years ago, on the 19th of April, 1971, under the leadership of the late Sheka Robin Stevens, that Sierra Leone became a republic. For 10 years before that, we were independent, as they called us, but the head of state was the Queen of England. And we could not do anything as a state with other countries as a state, except the Queen of England gave us permission. So what happened in 1971? Well, before I reach there, make a good one, short story, short information. Then there's a, I mean, they criticize one of who failed, failed, failed Creole politician. We don't fail so much. So the person gets one, somebody can write for him. We instead of failure. So before he can answer me, where they criticize this politician, we don't fail. I mean, grandpa, I go for. Right? All kind of thing about me, grandpa. They write an interesting side, say my grandpa not to creo, say my grandpa, and then loco, we can settle in a mountain rural village. Well, me, I can glad this F. We then they call me, give me tribes, because then they ready, then they say me na mende, where they ready, then they say me na this, where they ready, then they say me na that. So, if they say me na loco, I they glad it. Because the loco, then get beaucoup chief them na saloon. So if you don't give me local connection, me to say all the chief them there now, <laughs> and they will for mingle and then we will accept me say yes and then begin. So me, I don't, I don't mind when they say my grandpa na local. But honestly speaking, I think to say it is despicable, it is low for me somebody to attack somebody in grandpa we don't die because you criticize a failed Creole politician. It's not correct. But I tell you a small about my grandpa. First of all, my grandpa not born in Sierra Leone. <laughs> S.J. Pratt not born in Sierra Leone. He was born in the Gambia. He was born in Banjul, the Gambia. In fact, when I made the work in the Gambia, for the government of the Gambia, I mean go check on the births and deaths. And my grandpa and birth certificate, he didn't abandon the Gambia till today. You go check, you see, and he was born on Christmas Day in the 1920s. His birth certificate is there up to today. He was not born in Sierra Leone. He was born in the Gambia. He was born in the Gambia to a woman called Omotaya Wicks and a man called George Pratt. Now, Omotaya Wicks, I'm one of the few women of her time we get an HTC, a head teacher certificate, teaching certificate for being head teacher. But my great granny, na Gambia, the Anglican church no allow them for teach na the Anglican school, the Anglican primary school for certain reasons. And at the same time, they also may they discriminate against Muslim picking them, we can want for go school na the Anglican church. So this, my grandpa and mama, Sissi Taya Weeks, then decide for open a special school na Banjul de Gambia, for Muslim picking them, for learn English formal education. It was a famous school. Now, my granny, now, my head teacher in Gambia, in the school. And a lot of the Muslim picking away go through that school day. They ended up being very powerful Gambians. And I don't ever forget the head teacher, Sisi Omotaya Weeks. 
And one of them actually became the first president of the Republic of the Gambia, Sa Dauda Jawara. And Sa Dauda Jawara can always tell people then say, Mi granny, Mi great granny, Mi grandpa and mama, the impact where it make na in life, na it make it get the confidence for become the strong man that he was, for become the first president of the Gambia. Now, at the going at this story, one, for sure, na see my grandpa, he not even born na ya, he born na the Gambia, because at that time they, the British government made the run Sierra Leone and the Gambia as one entity. Administratively, they were one entity. So a lot of Creole families between Banjul, the Gambia, and Freetown, Sierra Leone, they are heavily interconnected. So my great granny, the Gambia I mean they, in the camp holiday, na salon, that they born my grandpa. Grandpa na Gambian citizen, as well as Sierra Leone citizen. So he be Gambian, he be Sierra Leone citizen. My grandfather was both. And he was a pure Creole man. But why make I explain this story to Ona? And they can show now how that connection to the Gambia helped Sierra Leone for become a republic exactly 52 years ago in 1971. Now, my grandpa may play very key roles for the APC for Kana Power in 1967. A lot of people, they know that. And he also played a very key role when they overthrew the APC for the APC for come back in 1968. So when the APC come back in 1968, he became one of obviously one of the most powerful men next to Shaka Stevens. He was a minister. Now Shaka Stevens, one day he just grabbed, he called me grandpa, he said, Solo? My grandpa said, yes, Shaki. He said, I sack you come around my cabinet. <laughs> so my grandpa asked Shaka Stevens, say, what do you do? He said, you not do nothing. He said, but for you and good, come around this cabinet. So now so he take a sack my grandpa. Okay. My grandpa continued for doing, because my grandpa I'm a lawyer. He was also an economist. He was also an entrepreneur. So he continued for, go back to in business. He had the real estate business and stuff. He go back. Now, the APC now, Shaka Stevens in APC, after he don't sack my grandpa, they became very unpopular. <laughs> They mean get the people then they when at the inside say for sack me grandpa, but they know the party became unpopular. So in March 1971, a coup attempt was made by the then head of the military, Brigadier John Bangura. In the middle of the night, early morning hours for meet up March 23rd, 1971. A very unique date now in history, March 23rd, 1971. The first commander sent soldiers for go attack Shaka Stevens in house for kill him. They fire, fire, fire at the house. In small grand picking, they may actually deny the old sweeting wife. They almost killed them. But they were saved in Sefion, so German, and put up a robust fight, the invaders then they withdraw. The next day, we morning in Canada because the same match 23rd now in the morning, because now middle net, now they go for go kill the Shaka Stevens as the then head of the government, he was then the prime minister. So the next day, Shaka Stevens left by then nine in the morning now. All man, the one who country don't mix up. Imagine shooting, shooting, shoot, 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 whole night and they're shooting a prime minister and quarters, prime minister and lodge. So Shaka Stevens going to the APC party office for go address the nation. Now day, day, night, he get intelligence. Say, come on, I immediately. That cool failure study, then they come back for you. 
So a rush come out of the APC party office. A run go to the prime minister's office. That is the prime minister in office day, who say the current vice president office day. Now this Shaka Stevens in office made as prime minister. Then, even though Salome don't get independence 10 years before, but Her Majesty the Queen of England now instill me the control state house. That day he put the person where he called the governor general. So the governor general in the state house, then the prime minister in office in the now USAI vice president office day. So Shaka Stevens moved from the APC party office, he zoom go up Tawail to the prime minister's office. When he reached my office, now he called the governor general, when the queen in representative in the state house. He said, I am the head of the government, but I am not the head of state. He said, so I'm not able to instruct the first commander because the first commander's loyalty is to Her Majesty the Queen of England, all the way in England. He said, so even though we don't get independence, but now the first commander won't overthrow and I'm not getting no control over the first commander. He said, you as the governor general. Now only you get the command and the control for instructs the first commander, not for overthrow this me government. So the governor general tells Shaka Stevens, and always I explain to him so, this is not the way Shaka Stevens himself tell me as a young girl, and I think back where he writes inside in book. So Shaka Stevens in book get all which I explain to him so. So Shaka Stevens tell the governor general, say let the governor general call the first commander, Brigadier John Bangura, for stop what he in the plan for do for overthrow the government that end day. So the governor general went at the queen in representative in the state house. Now he tells Shaka Stevens, say, okay, in the country for reach the first commander. That's in the, the military, the head of the military, then they call him first commander. Like what we call now the chief of defense staff. So Shaka Stevens say, don't wait up to one hour. The Queen in representative, the Governor General, he not call Shaka Stevens. So Shaka Stevens say, as see the tell him and then say, let we can dong, let we come, because whole net are not sleep. He says, in the can dong, so I just see trucks of well armed soldier man them. Then come down, then surround the entire Prime Minister's office, right next to the State House, but they're not going to the State House. Then come to the Prime Minister in office. Before Jack, then begin fire, live weapons. So Shaka Stevens in bodyguard then say begin return fire. Then then take Shaka Stevens now, then go keep him. Now one sign at the building where not get window. Now they he lives on the ground now, near an office, but you know crates go near inside an office because now they the bullets all they go inside an office, inside them the fire. This is now on the 23rd of March, 1971. So when Eventually, the loyal forces to the government, they overcome Brigadier John Bangura in your forces. The loyal forces was led by Colonel Sam King and Colonel Joseph Saidu Momo. So they overcome Brigadier John Bangura in your plan. But Brigadier John Bangu, I mean, don't go make announcements on the radio that thing. They say, we don't overthrow Shaka Stevens, then they take over the government. So they don't make, so all my don't feel to say they could not succeed. But then Sam King and Momo, they overturn the coup. When Shaka Stevens succeed, they overturn the coup. He can't realize now, say, this country, they in a very dangerous situation. Because me there as head of government, but I'm not even able for command the head of the military. Pass the Queen of England, now the head of state, now he able to command the military waiting for do. So then if I overthrow me, kill people them, slaughter people them. Because imagine you are overthrow one of government, it means you say they will face resistance, you will kill people them. So Shaka Stevens now decides say in the go Guinea. 
So he got Guinea to Sheku Touré, who was then the head of Guinea, the president of Guinea. He said, then signed a defense pact for make sure, say, any time if Guinea need help, Salon go send soldier. If Salon need help, Guinea go send soldier. And he tells Sheku Touré, say, he need help. So Sheku Touré send a whole contingent of well-trained military, Guinean military officers for camp, for camp, back up Shaka Stevens and protect them. Because Shaka Stevens now knew that the military, the Sierra Leone military, he could not trust them because they tried to kill him. Within 24 hours, they tried to attack him twice. But there was a problem because, as I don't tell you now, any bilateral arrangement between Sierra Leone and an external country, now as a state, Shaka Stevens not able to get the authority for making legitimate unless the Queen of England will still me remain as the head of state of Sierra Leone. Approve for that defense pact or that bilateral arrangement with other countries. So Shaka Stevens can realize now, say, no, this is not for work. This country, Africa, is for the Africans. Any problem, be tell the way, stay, Mama Queen, they take decision on Britain. The soldier man then go overthrow, people then go down die, anything go down happen. So Shaka Stevens said, no, we need for make sure, say, Mama Queen, stop for be the head of state. Black Africans, now we now for be the head of state, for we self. But how for Duam? Sheka Stevens no know. So my grandpa we emi don sack. Nice thing called my grandpa. My grandpa na me lawyer, brilliant constitutional lawyer. Now he said, dear, let me grandpa ka epa. He explain everything to my grandpa now. He said, solo, I mean me say I sack you. He said, but now I get problem. Waiting for do. How for Duam? So my grandpa, himself write book before he die. And my grandpa, he take them, explain everything inside the book about how he helped this nation with Shaka Stevens' column and explain to them the problem. Because we as Sierra Leoneans, we were not running our state. So that 10 day, as I'm in Teluna earlier, Gambia and Sierra Leone, they made it under the same queen in control. But Gambia, few years before that, they made not able to convert themselves so that they were now completely a republic. The queen of England, the then Gambian head of uh, the government, Sa Dauda Jawara, that one was telling us, see, my grandpa and mama, my great granny, na in teacher as head mis head mistress, na banjul the Gambia, as a Muslim boy, na he make sure say he go school and become educated as a Muslim boy na a Muslim school, he was now the president of the Gambia. So now my grandpa tell Shaka Stevens say, well. He says, Sadao da Jawara, the president of the Gambia, he like my mama, because my mama na in, in school, in school mistress. He say, I know say, the ties way between me and Gambia. If I fly go Gambia, then go able to show me what thing they do. We make the queen agree without any fet fet or grumble. He agree for Gambia for become a republic. So Shaka Stevens said, Dia, solo, he said, Napo can help this country. He said, if you're not able to help, he said, this could be a problem because we're still not able to run our own country. Ten years now, now the queen, for more than say, then give we independence. But this independence, now, after enough independence. So my grandpa fly go, na banjo the Gambia. And indeed, Sadao da Jawara was very fond of my family. Very fond of my grandpa. And he instructs in then private secretary, one Mr. Christensen, 
All this is my grandpa and book where they explain. He instructs me to say, open all the correspondence between me and Her Majesty the Queen of England. All the confidential documents, all the secret correspondence, and most importantly, the actual contact them, when at them, they next to the Queen. When at them, go able push for make Sierra Leone become a republic. Because you see, in governance structures, if you don't know the real person where they near the person where you want for do the thing, you go go through bureaucracy, you go strain, 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 but to God, you not go succeed. You go write letter no more, but you know they reach. But if you see you able to touch that button, that person when I ain't near the queen or the king or the president, wait you able to touch that button there. Bingo, you able to get what you want. So the president of the Gambia said that was a Jawara. He makes sure say me grandpa, he show everything. He opened all the files, all the secret correspondence between him and Her Majesty the Queen. All the contact numbers for the correct people they were in England, we not them for contact. All the buttons they were for press, he show me grandpa everything. That's so when my grandpa take the documents, he fly come back to the salon. Now he can show Shaka Stevens now. The first process where they had to do, that was sack the governor general. So, Shaka Stevens go through the correct pathway, how Sadawada Jawara Shwam, he sack the governor general, he gets the queen, because also in the sack the governor general, now the queen for sack the governor general, and appoint a new governor general. So, then get the queen, then follow the pathway, and the queen sack the governor general, and he appoints, the Chief Justice that day, where they may call COE Cole. My grandpa, make sure say COE Cole na me, my grandpa in lodge man. Na, you know this lodge where they can open and can join. So I don't mean lodge. So my grandpa got for meeting a lodge, a brief arm, waiting and for do for make sure say Salon become fully independent republic. Ten years after, then they say they give it that half and half independence. So after they sacked the governor general, COE Cole became the acting governor general. Shaka Stevens now follow all the other steps then, with Sadawda Jawara show to my grandpa. And they got Her Majesty the Queen for giving royal assent to a document when the SLPP may actually start them for making Sierra Leone turn a republic. But they don't know how to continue the process. So now my grandpa, now he helps Shaka Stevens, then take that document where the SLPP, Sir Albert Magai, may start for making Sierra Leone become a full republic. Now my grandpa show the way for this country and assist Shaka Stevens. And that is why Ona Yeri then can say the Republic of Sierra Leone, the first president of the Republic of Sierra Leone, I mean Justice C.O.E. Cole. Because when my grandpa don't help do all the processing with Her Majesty the Queen, for Sierra Leone for become a republic. The process was Her Majesty the Queen, the handover to whosoever, I mean the black governor general, with the Majesty appoint. And as so COE Cole become the first ceremonial president of the Republic of Sierra Leone in 1971. So at one 13 p.m., 13 minutes after 1, on the 19th of April, 1971, Parliament endorsed and the Queen gave in royal assent for Sierra Leone for become a republic. And this was done by the APC-led government of Shaka Bobin Stevens. So in April 1971, now the time where Sierra Leone achieved the full independence. 
Waiting Sa Melty Magai Mindu in 1961, 27th April 1961. Now me half enough independence. Then say on a run the government, but the queen now is still the run the state. So the queen now is still now me head of state. Now the APC party and Shaka Robin Stevens. Now they ensure say si Sierra Leone become a total republic independently running itself from the 19th of April 1971. So my people them, the independence where the SLPP Giwi was on the 27th of April 1961. But the self-independence that made us become a republic, that made us become the Republic of Sierra Leone with our own black head of state was done by the APC in 1971 on this date while they talked to so 52 years ago this is a great legacy of the APC this is a great legacy of Shaka Robin Stevens but they're not on teach with this even though they're not power for 11 years we're not teach owner we're not tell we young APC people them these things they will the party for be proud of we don't sit down we don't allow make who party the good legacies them of the party. We don't allow people them from potter potter and put on the mud, put on a potter potter, dirty and for we. Now we then call who party name. They associate them with negatives. But by the grace of God, one fine day, I believe say a lot of we will come around and rebuild the image of the APC. We're not going to do anything one day. But the time will come. And more especially to own the young one, then we're not the future of the APC. Me, I don't pass 50. But there are a lot of you who are young in your 20s. Tonight, now the first time on the read this story. Say the APC. Now it makes Sierra Leone become a republic. Now it makes Mama Queen no longer be the head of state. Now he make sure say this country can now have diplomats, ambassadors in the name of Sierra Leonean head of state for go represent we out in different countries that the APC party do. Am. And it happened 52 years ago on this date, April 19, 1971. The question where a lot of people go ask is why they don't hide this history? Why not only independence they can tell we about? How come we have never? Because I know say a lot of una, this night are the first one I hear this story, eh? <laughs> I'm sure of that. So the question is, how come we have never been taught about these great achievements by the APC party? Well, the answer is simple. When a party loses sight of its history, and they allow charlatans and allow moles and allow hijackers for come and take over the internal affairs of the party, it will lose the essence we stand for. Now they happen to the APC now. The essence is gone. We have to find it again. We have to build it up again. We have to restructure the perception of our people about what the APC is all about about the foundation on which the APC was formed. Now, if people have already reached Sire, of course, I go on, add one small thing before I move on to the next topic. When the APC ready for get Sierra Leone for become a republic in 1971, of course, they had to go to the parliament. When Shaka Stevens came and gone to the parliament, the SIPP members of parliament that ten day. And I'm letting them do. They say they're not agree. They say the Queen of England I for still left as head of state. So Shaka Stevens may for ten and say, Bo, this process, 
Na Sir Albert Magai na his starter. It's just that he no me no waiting for do. Me, me as smart, I get a very smart honorable SAJ Pratt. We don't show me waiting for do. He don't go to the Gambia. Gambia don't show a waiting for do. He don't do him. He say what are the vex? No, na me starter. But na no af, na no no for donor. Me, I don't do her now. But I want to know for no say, the SLPP, they walked out of parliament. Because they did not want the APC to get the credit that now the APC formed Sierra Leone into a republic. So today, we the Yerida Republic of Sierra Leone. Commander in chief of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Head of state of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Because some country they did at this world, 30 days, now the Queen of England are the head of state too. But who country then still? But Sierra Leone, with the help of my grandpa, great man, Solomon Pratt, S.J. Pratt, he may able for me, very peacefully, we no fight, no nothing. We turn Sierra Leone from an half and half independence to a full republic. So my people them, this is how Sierra Leone became the Republic of Sierra Leone under the leadership of Shaka Probin Stevens and with the able assistance of his very clever, very smart S.A.J. Pratt. We later now after my grandpa me don't assist for do what he for do. Then Shaka Stevens apologized to my grandpa. He said, I come back now the cabinet. And I saw my grandpa, the first position we gave Attorney General and Minister of Justice. That is why my grandfather, S.A.J. Pratt, became the very first Attorney General of the Republic of Sierra Leone. This is my story where I want to know for note today. But before I end tonight's broadcast, there is this very topical issue um, about Zainab Sharif, my next door neighbor. You see, I don't want to get Zainab into trouble. But at the same time, I also get me integrity and I get me personal respect and I get me credibility in this country. So I want to clarify some points in Tona very quickly tonight if I round up this broadcast very quickly. I don't want to talk much. I don't want to get Zainab into any trouble or anything. But I need to clarify certain things then. Um, first of all, we all know See, for me, the first lady restart this second phase of insanity pads distribution. I have been with her every side they go, almost every side. Past the first one with a launch, Nabo, and I'm in the and there, and then one ten and Watalo and go. But every other side, I they associate myself with them because now an excellent initiative. As a gender rights, gender equality, advancement of women, protection of girls, advancing the education of our girls, empowering our girls, mentoring our girls, talking to our girls, making sure the girls they see say they can be as great as possible. Now a wonderful thing. And I have been privileged for be the one where they work out with the first lady. Me to me, a big, big privilege. For make a day with them, and this thing when a honorable thing, a great thing with the first lady they do. So if anybody go attack, say what the first lady they do for distribute pads, it denigrate them, like for say not to better thing. Now me self you don't attack. Not to first lady no more you attack. Oh. When you diminish the tea, you talk say not to better thing, they then pass up and down, they go and shape pad. Because I mean, I said, the first now, me and first lady, now what you did, now what you fact, now what you get the program. <laughs> now me and they work out with this program. So if you say the first lady, what did they do with the pads, so to better team, that means to say, me say, say, baby, go like me, not to better team, me say, they pan. So me say, if I take and personal, say yes, that means to say, the work out, the work out the first lady, for go and inspire with girls, get with girls them, and let nobody, we call himself a gender rights, women's empowerment person. Not talk say, waiting first lady they do, for them girl picking in this country. 
not to bet your thing. Let nobody not talk that. If you talk I'm you na hypocrite gender equality, you na hypocrite advancement of women person. Because waiting the first lady of this country don't do Fatima Madabio, waiting it don't do for this country for a girl picking them. Me, I don't serve as minister responsible for that sector. We get for do with women and we get for do with girls. No woman that this country in history don't do it in Fatima Mother Beodo able to do in the last four to five years for girls them and for women them. I'm very proud for being associated with her. So when Zainab do that in broadcast, I was very upset with her. I mean, really, because it's like, let me say, first of all, you know, anybody with a real gender activist, we're not able to appreciate what in Fatima they do. Now, yeah, we all day. The British Foreign Secretary, James Clever Likaya, he meets Pekine upline. They ask the Pekine, live video, the one who all they watch. He say, when you grow up, what you go like for B? This they say doctor, this they say lawyer. But you know what was unique? The beginning, some of the beginning say, first lady, what would you like to be? I want to be a first lady. I want to be the first lady. Imagine, oh, they want to be the first lady. Turning at the inspiration where Fatima don't do across this country. Every corner you bend, the little girls, they know say Fatima mother be on a role model. They know what in Fatima Mother Bio they do for girl bikini. So me, I'm very proud of him. I'm proud for being associated with him. And I will continue for being associated with him. If I mean, I'm the proudest person you can think of. Where you can't wait in Fatima they do for girls and women. I'm very proud. So I took it personal with Fatima, with, um, um, Zainab launched that video there. But on Monday this week, me and person, normally I walk in the night and then in the morning hours I sleep. Zainab calls me on Monday. I mean, next door neighbor, Zainab, I'm a small sister. I make her take 10 talks and things they say. I mean, next door neighbor, I take her like my small sister. If they call me big sis. Zainab called me on Monday this week. So as he called, I pick up the phone as he begin to talk. I say, Zainab, you know, say I vexed by you, eh? And I say, yes, big sis, I want to explain. And I say, now you want to explain? I say, well, me, they sleep first. I say, well, what can't do? I go send call you. He say, okay, and they wait for me call. I say, well, you know, say I can busy. If I forget for send call, you call me back for remind me. He say, okay, sis. And honestly, that day, day I became overwhelmed with work. I forget for call Zainab. Tuesday, which was yesterday, I forget back again. It not crossed my mind. Instead, not call me. But yesterday, now on the net, around 10 30, I just seen a social media, then posted Zainab Dena Special Court Prison, that are the female prisons of Pademba Road. Ah! I was shocked. So I began to call Zainab Nine phone. I think because I began to say, hey, I said, speak here, I call me yesterday. He say, I for, I say, so this is the call me for. But the call caller, the call caller, from the phone, they ring, but you know, they pick up. So I send text message, na the phone. I say, what in this are the CISO? But nobody no reply. So immediately, now I call Umaru Napoleon Koma, the deputy attorney general. Now I say, Napoleon, I say, what in happened with Zainab? Why would I charge him to court? Because if they see somebody in a special court prison, it means in a court, they don't charge him, they don't remand them. Otherwise, not to prison the day, he go then a CID. So now Napoleon answer me, he say, honestly, he say, I don't know. He say, I just the common upline. He say, I just the enter inside free tongue. He say, I don't get the foggiest idea which you they talk about, self. So I say, okay, okay, because it was late in the night. Almost now going to 11 and 8. So I go on my party where they work in a CID, in a senior official day. So now I call him. I say, do you, I say, you are aware of this lady, Zainab Sheriff? Then can I go to CID for anything? Then he say yes. He say I see and today they made a question him. He say but me me don't left for go court fast. He say so I don't know if they're not CID. I don't know if they don't get bail. He say but definitely 
et me dédé de me question. So on that note, say now immediately, then they say no, no. Now I go on social media, now I see sign up in page. And then nobody not tell me say that page is a hacked page. That is a lie. Then in a sign up in page, na in page where you use up to this week, self, na a page where me they use, he post picture of himself, where he do that video, he post reaction then at the page. So na in page, it's not a hacked page. What did me happen last year? Now they me hack Zainab in page. Now I open this new page in December 2022. Now in page where they use, not a fake page, now in real page when I set up the user. So I go now in page, now I see he post a message. He say thank you for all your calls and concerns. So me ask can say, okay, this they most likely don't release them because where he post, I look at the time where he post the message. Now I call me assistant, me, me night duty assistant. I say, go over to Zainab for me. Tell and say, I just see what he posts and they see this news in the social media. I say, go over to Zainab for me and tell, ask and say, if they up, if they awake, I will come over there. So a day na mi veranda, mi assistant cross, he go over to Zainab in gate, he knock na the gate, the gate man open. He tell the gate man, say, na mommy Sylvia na in send me for come to Zainab. So the gate man tell mi assistant, say, let he wait, he wait na the gate. The gate man come down with one of Zainab in relative. I deliberately you not know, call the name of the relative for strategic reasons. But because I see certain idiots on social media, they write all types of trash. One particular one, we say name Maurice something, he say in a relative to Zainab, the cause, say me, me, the lie. So now make it take me time to explain to people them. I'm not a liar. I will never lie. I get too much respect for myself, for reduce myself for lie. So Zainab in relative, in close and intimate relative. I know they call the name of this broadcast, but they're all not the old snow because all man on a big and apologize today. Now that relative they can dong na the gate. Now he tell me assistant say Zainab say for tell me say, let me not worry. In the house, in okay, in safe. The only thing tomorrow morning, if I go back na CID. So in don't go rest. But let him tell me, say, in okay, in safe, in the na us. Now I say, okay. I say, well, if Zainab okay, I say, with all this lie lie news now, we then put in a social media, how we did special court, today prison, they don't go lock in a prison. I say, go well, find let Zainab put out, tell people then say not to true. I say, if I miss it, say they can put out a message for assure people then say, na lie. Now on that basis, they I go put that message. Say Zainab de na us. Zainab safe is sound. Not in order to lie in the lie. In order to special court. Because that was the original news we come out and say the special court. Okay. Within 20 minutes after I post that day, now in Zainab in Facebook page, whether they can lie in a hacked page. Not a normal hacked page. Now Zainab in page. I'm page, when you know, I go look at the page, and you know, I see all what he posts inside the last one week, all in posts. Tell he posts one side where military fatigues. Now Zainab in page. Not a no hacked page. Nobody no hacking page. Now they know those game than they play, but we we'll reach the just now. I explain them. So within 20 minutes, now in Zainab in page come, he posts almost verbatim, waiting me don't post. Now he can post back, say, in safe, in sound, in the house. Okay. As I tell you, I'm making work late, so I work overnight, I go sleep. When I wake now, around 11 going to 12, I see one number begin calling me, but the number one not Sabi. And me not the pick calls if I not Sabi your number. So the person they call you, they call where they call at the cutoff. They call at the cutoff, we cannot know the number. Then the person send a text. Now he introduce himself, I know they call him name, I just go at the background. He introduce himself, say, him na the lawyer for Zainab. He says, Zainab, say, like, call me. 
I said, okay, so immediately now I called the person back. Now I said, hello. I say yes. He introduced his name. He say, you know, the lawyer for Zainab. He said, Zainab, now he said, for call me. Zainab will explain so, 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 so thing. He said, the only thing no more in one for explain to me, he said, Zainab still did not see ID. They not released her yesterday net. I said, eh. <laughs> I said, but Mr. Lawyer, who's can talk this? I say, how the Lord will release that up? Zainab will send message to me yesterday through so, so, and so, and so, pussy. You know, the, the relative of Zainab, I know I'm calling him. Now I say, well, um, this, this, this explains certain things then. I say, well, this, this is an embarrassment somebody want to create for me. I say, because I'm so credible, everybody don't know now say, based on what I say and based on what Zainab saying, tell me. So now I call the Zainab in relative. Now I say, I say, I think you know, it's going to make a fool of me. Because you don't tell me, say, you tell me, you tell me at my assistant, f front the gate, everybody here, he. say, Zainab, the upstairs, he say for tell me, saying okay, in safe, in sound. Then when I don't post, na Zainab in page, the same thing. Then now when I tell me now, say, Zainab, me in the CID all this thing. Now in the male relative, get for explain to me, say, now Zainab tell and say, Make it tell anybody we ask for them. Say in their house. Because he don't want the government for feel say. Now him they put out the wrong information. Say government don't go put out in prison. So when in they put out that information, the people are going to ask, the government go now say not to him the insight for many people then say he don't go to them by road prison, then a special court prison. So now I tell this male relative of Zainab, I say, well, Una and Zainab might feed us in a good and they do fine. I say, but what about me now? You don't put me in a very embarrassing position <laughs> for tell the whole world, say Zainab is okay, she's at the house, but you get for go CID. Now I say, oh, well, then no say, uh, not to see where people then go, then just they take the situation cool. So the next day I say, I see Zainab post again in wall or somebody posting on behalf of Zainab, say, now in page, now in account, it okay, it gets another page, we know to, um, in, in, in public figure, now in private page, this is my private page, you know, post. So me cool, me still they continue, I say, okay, Zainab, like I be say, we're all brothers and sisters in this country. If Zainab get a problem, now me next door neighbor, now me small sister, we're all brothers and sisters. If we're there for reconcile people, if we're there for make peace for people, if we're there for facilitate, let point somebody make amends, I go do them. So I started doing that. The next thing I know now, within few hours, I see now the atmosphere and the social media change. People then begin to attack me. Next thing I know, I see one advocate put out a tweet. The language change now. It's like a country. What is it? I see some of these guys. Fake reports. This. So instead of explaining to people that now Zainab, now in tell Sylvia Blyde and this through in male relative now in house. When I begin put me now, like say me as on lie man, or like for say, I I don't I they connive with somebody in the government or something. I mean that is so unfair. So, I, of course, I don't accept apologies from the male relative that Zainab in house. But I think to say, for people and for the go this way, first of all, my integrity, my credibility in this country, it is rock solid. You know, most people don't try for bring me down. I cannot be destroyed. I cannot be destroyed. And they talk safe right now, they talk half enough. Because I know I explain Boku to them, because I don't want to give Zainab problems. But for God's sake, when I can house to Zainab and ask my house to in relatives then and know the source of outsider information they come out. I mean, I also, I'm also a professional. I know what I do. What I wrote yesterday was I went to check at a house and this is what I was told. I'm not telling anybody say this is what I saw with my eyes. No, I reported on what I was told based on one of the closest people with Zainab Gana in life right now. So please, when that way they go all over the place, they try to impugn me. No, 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 no. It's not going to work. I have built my credibility in this country. I cannot be destroyed.
The best word for do now, I don't see say people that don't take an out turn to some political thing for you know they want to mess Zainab up. Me and me they say and they want to mess her up. At a time like this war for the reconcile Zainab with people them, at a time like this war for the act as brothers and sisters, at a time like this war for the facilitate reconciliation, apologies, retraction, and working to make peace, you have people where they don't see her as a platform for insight, for create confusion. But one thing I can say to you, you cannot destroy Sylvia Olenka Blyden. I am too blessed. To be destroyed. On that note, day, I go end tonight's broadcast, as I can always do, with the tune of the national anthem. May God bless we all. Amen.